Mark, it's been, what, three years since I was here uh, helping to launch what was a new academy in a sense at that stage for Clark for Cricket. What's changed since then? Well, quite a lot. For us, it was always a, a long-term investment. And we knew that the site was going to change quite considerably over the coming years. Um, what, what's actually happened, um, we've done two new grass wickets um, laid over the other side um, to a professional standard as well, really high spec. Um, two weeks ago we had the artificial nets finished. Um, they've replaced nets that had seen better days, I think it's fair to say. Um, just new, new things like um, you know, modernising the side screens, um, there's a batting cage that we can take onto the wickets on the, um, on the other side of the road. Um, so an awful lot of development's gone on. Um, a lot of money's been spent actually over that period. Well, talking of money, the obvious thing, head partnership have sponsored. Um, how important is that? How valuable is that to you? Um, incredibly valuable, in actual fact. One of the problems of running particularly a minor county is that we get very, very little central funding from the ECB. So for a programme that costs approximately 300000 a year to run now, um, the ECB com contribution is about 5% to that head partnership, uh, in effect, pays for all of this. So all the matches that we play here every year, which is around about 40 to 50 matches, plus almost unlimited training facilities during the summer as well, is covered by head partnership sponsor. So in, a, in effect, then, without that, to use a technical term, you're kind of stuffed. We are stuffed, <laughs> or we do what we do for everything else, we go to the parents. Mm. And the parents are very good in yeah. Berkshire and we're lucky we're quite an affluent county um, but there's a limit to everything really, yeah. and it's nice to have an element of the program that the kids get free of charge um, and that's what we're able to offer here yeah. everything I mean, else has to be paid for. yeah I and mean, we talk a lot about the development of the game uh, obviously at highest levels the highest levels and basically all the way through so it's important to people like me to see the game at highest level fed by those at the lower levels is there a way you can quantify the effect of having sale on Berkshire cricket here? Um, yes, I mean the way that we judge our success as a county isn't so much in the results that we get in our junior fixtures. It's much more in terms of the quality of the player that we produce at the end. And at the moment I think, um, I think I'm right in saying this summer already um, we've had nine or ten boys that have played second eleven cricket. Um, we've currently got four boys that are fully contracted that have been through the system over the last five years um, that have come through the Berkshire system. Um, if we're going back even as recently as seven or eight years, we had no boys playing second eleven cricket, we had no contracted players. In fact, our last contracted player prior to this cohort that's going through was Aftaba B. Right. Um, that's going back going some back years. A while, yeah. Yeah. Um, so, so you're proud of the progress that's been made? Absolutely, and I think what the facility's given us is the opportunity to create players rather than just um, an opportunity for players to play. And I think that's quite a clear distinction. We can actually work with the players to make them better cricketers. I mean, there's always a temptation to want more. Um, is this about as good as it gets, or what more could you do? Well, it's, it's interesting. Um, within the school, because I actually work in the school as well as a cricket coach, um, we're constantly talking about ways in which we can develop the facilities. Um, the school's been fantastic actually in making sure that uh, all the money that the head partnership have invested over the years have been put back into cricket and to be honest they've spent an awful lot of money on top of that as well. Um, so, you know, going forward we're looking at developing potentially other pitches. Um, there's uh, an artificial wicket that's on the field down, um, down there that's currently being developed so that's the next phase which will involve a, you know, another training facility, more opportunity for more sides in the school to play as well. Um, so there's, there's always other things potentially in the pipeline going forward. And how does this compare, for instance, to rival counties, neighbouring counties, counties around the country? Um, in terms of our neighbouring counties, it's, it's exceptional. Uh, the people that are doing equivalent jobs to myself in Bucks and Oxfordshire and Wiltshire I think it's fair to say we kill for a facility like this. Um, they, they, they find it very difficult to get their sides together at all in the summer. Uh, one of the things that we have here, because we've got a very, very helpful groundsman, is we have unlimited grass practice wickets. Uh, the surrounding counties quite simply don't have that. The only one that I'm aware of that has a very similar facility actually is Middlesex with Merchant Taylor School. So, yeah, you know, that would be the closest yeah. well, to this. Very glad to hear it's working. 
very glad to hear it's successful. Let's raise a glass or a bat to that. Yeah. Super. Thank you, David. Thank you.